Hello, Yaledi. I'm going to read to you Yael's Loving World, written by Malky Weinstock, illustrated by Steve Pelegi. Yael's Loving World. This is the title page. It says Yael's Loving World. Inside this building, lives a small girl. Her name is Yael. Yael is a happy girl who loves to laugh. It makes her especially glad to think of everyone who loves her. This is Yael's kindergarten teacher, Mora Sarah. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, Yael. I'm glad to see you, sings Mora Sarah to Yael each morning. Mora Sarah greets the whole class. She loves every single girl. Yael enjoys her school day. There's lots to learn and games to play. This is Mindy, Yael's best, best friend in the whole wide world. Mindy lives very close by, and she and Yael play together each day after school. Yael knows that Mindy loves her. She just knows. This is Yael's great aunt Bracha. Great aunt Bracha lives far away in Yerushalayim, but she sends Yael a birthday card every year. Whenever she comes to visit, she always brings something pretty or something sweet for her special Yael. Yael cares about great aunt Bracha. She calls her all the way to Yerushalayim to wish her good Shabbos each week. Yerushalayim is very far away, but on the phone, Yael feels really close. This is Yael's brother, David. David lets Yael feed his fish. Fish need to be fed carefully, and David knows that Yael can do a good job. Yael loves watching them open up their little mouths wide for food. She and David like making fishy faces together. Yael tries not to be mad at David when he rushes out the door and knocks over her tea party and dolls. She knows he doesn't do it purposely. She understands that big brothers are just sometimes in a rush. This is Safta, Yael's grandmother. Safta bakes Yael's favorite cookies, chocolate chip. Safta uses a bunch of special ingredients like sugar and chocolate chips, but the most special ingredient of all is not something from the pantry. It's love that comes from her heart. After her cookies and milk, Yael colors a picture of pink and red roses because she knows they're Safta's favorite flowers. She and her Safta like to make each other happy. This is Saba, Yael's grandfather. Saba sings the songs that he loves to Yael. Some are so old, his Zeta sang them to him. Saba sings slow songs and fast songs. When he sings funny songs, Yael giggles and sings along. Yael teaches Saba some of her favorite songs from kindergarten. Now he knows old songs and some new ones. Tap, 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 dance Saba's feet as he joyfully hums along. This is Yael's father, her Abba. Abba comes in from work every night and says, I'm so happy to be home with my Yael at last. He lifts Yael up in a great big Abba hug, twirls her around and hugs her again. Yael's eyes sparkle and shine. I waited for you too, she says happily. Greeting her Abba is a special part of her day. And then there's Yael's mommy. Mommy tucks her in at night and reads Yael's favorite storybooks. It makes Yael feel warm and wonderful inside. Yael tells mommy stories about her day and sometimes her worries too, because mommy loves her and always knows what to do. Great Aunt Bracha, David, Mora, Sarah, Mindy. At the end of each day, Yael smiles. She is so happy. Saba, Safta, Abba, Mommy. She closes her eyes and hugs herself tight. She knows Hashem is the one who gives her all the people who make her feel so loved. Yael feels how much Hashem loves her. She knows it in her heart. And oh, how Yael loves Hashem too. The end. How do you show the people in your life that you love them? How do they show that they love you? It's so nice to thank Hashem for all the people 
that he gives us in our lives. Bye for now.